Our long-term goals were to change our fleet from diesel to um, alternative fuels, and so we had looked at compressed natural gas or electrification, felt electrification uh, was the way to go. Once we commit to that, going to 100% electrification, um, our, our turnaround, um, most buses have a, a life of uh, 12 years, so um, by 2032, we will have 100% of our buses converted to uh, electric buses. Black & Veatch, looking at their experience and what we were needing, um, they were the most qualified team going forward. Transportation actually um, contributes for 24 to 25 percent of the gas emission in the country. That's for the U.S. only. Um, so it's actually the largest contributor of gas emission. As we see the fleet evolving into the um, zero emission um, transportation, we contribute experience that we can share and this common knowledge, if it can be duplicated to many other projects, I would say benefits everyone. The electrical power that's needed today maybe just uh, you know 10% of what's needed in the next five years or six years. So we plan for the future with uh, utility. We definitely, uh, as much as we could, future-proofed this project. We really market ourselves, the whole town of Vail and the Vail community is a sustainable destination. Anything we can do that you know, shows that we're trying to um, make a change in the climate change because you know, a shorter ski season, less snow, truly affects our products that we provide for our guests. This is a good example of things that needs to be duplicated you know, by the hundred and, and the thousands in the U.S. Everybody benefits from having cleaner technology and uh, zero emission buses is a very good example of it.